What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to show you the new tank I got. It's a 110 plus gallon tank. I went to Home Depot, bought some pea gravel right here. Cleaned it up, got it all filtered out really good. Got ourselves some tape. Got ourselves some paint, black paint, because this doesn't look very good. Got ourselves a safe extension cord to be able to plug it in. We got this pump right here. I don't know what kind of pump it is. There you go, if you can see that. Marine land. It's a decent sized pump. So we're going to get this gravel in here that I got filtered out. I cleaned it out, got all the crap out. I got this from Home Depot. We're kind of doing a, a budget tank. I'll put all the prices up in the corner of what I paid for everything. I paid under six bucks for this. I paid like four bucks for the tape. I paid 21 for the extension cord. I paid 18 for the paint. And that's not including the tank. And every, all this attachments and everything that came with the tank. And I got a bunch of other stuff that came with the tank under here. That whole thing tote full and there's a bunch more back there. My smaller 40 gallon tank right here. Got an automatic fish feeder. I got the light. I got a black light. And I got this little pressure thing where it raises the water above the tank. The two angel fish, this angel fish net, they love it. Bunch of skirt fish. I got a little shark in here somewhere. Bunch of snails. This guy loves the camera right here. He's the newest addition. So this is a community tank right here. This tank right here is going to be more of a predator tank. So two different tanks, both fresh water. Um, one day I'll do salt water. One day we'll have probably like a 5,000 gallon tank. Rather this lady likes it or not. Cockatiels, my birds. This is nibbles right here because it likes to nibble on your finger. This is Snow White. A little nicer. Well, doesn't look like it. she's running from me, but no. these are the cockatiels. Sorry about the lighting. It's, it's not the greatest. I should probably get a brighter light in here, but it is what it is. You're along for the ride. We're going to get the gravel in here. I'm going to try to get the filter and everything hooked up. There will be a uh, second part to this field maybe a third part we got to get fish and i bought a bunch of stuff on amazon i bought a bunch of fake plants i bought a really cool light that'll go in the back that changed like eight different colors i still need to get a background definitely want a background on there but bigger the tank the more expensive everything is so that's 40 gallons over there over. that one 110 plus gallon right here so i got Two, a heater right there, a heater right there. Got some bubblers. I got a bubbler right there. So let's get this pea gravel from Home Depot into the tank. So this is what it looks like now. A little pea gravel. It is a little foggy, but you should have seen the water before I cleaned it. It was like poop brown. It was pretty bad. Anyways, here's the rock. Looks pretty good. We're gonna have. I got a bunch of stuff, other stuff I'm gonna put in there with it. It's just pea gravel. Super. It's pretty clean. Different colors. You look closely. Not too bad. So now we're gonna get the pump hooked up right here, and hook some bubblers up. Hook this bubbler up. There's a bubbler down in here. It's right there. You can see it back there. Sorry, I almost fell over. And see how that looks. Alright, so I have one bubbler hooked up right there. I have another one hooked up right there. And the filters clean. There's all these that go in here. And there's a stack right there. Got the hose ran down the side. It's not how it's gonna finish. But the filter will go right in here. To order a couple more things for the filter that is missing in this box of stuff so yeah all right so this is where we're at we 
Got these all clean. All this stuff is just stained. All this stuff is just stained. So clean, clean enough. Got the little balls. Got all the stuff. Then we still need to clean the filter. I ordered a bunch of bunch of hoses and the rest of the stuff to finish the fish tank, which should be here Saturday. So I'll try to get this video out Sunday. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see. All right guys, so I got it painted black. That's tape right there I need to take off and it dries. Got this painted. I couldn't get in that crack all the way. Um, this side I'm not going to paint. So I really don't feel like moving all this stuff right here. Um, I got to put the hinges back on when it's done. Then I'm going to get the rest of the filter stuff tomorrow on the rest of the plants. And I will film then tomorrow. Hey, what's up guys? So, we got some new fish in here. As you see, let me flip it around. So we got three koi fish in here. I'm gonna go pick up the other stuff that was delivered already. I just gotta go get it real quick. Then we're gonna add that to the tank and I got a background so it hides all those cords. And I'm gonna figure out what to do with this stuff. And we got the UV light. So let me go and get the other stuff and I'll be right back to you guys. All right, so we got the background in. So I picked it. It's not perfect. It said it was for this size tank. If you look over here, there's just a little gap, which is going to be annoying for sure. But that already looks way better. I got a bunch of other things in this mess. I had to pull this shelf out. I gotta put all this stuff back. But I got a bunch of other stuff here I'm gonna get, put in a tank, and I'll show you guys. Alright, so this is what it looks like for now. I just got a bunch of fake plants. Finally got the filter working after three hours of messing with it. I couldn't get it primed properly. Um, I got a fish feeder. I'm end up probably gonna get a new one, another one for the other side since there's gonna be a lot more fish in here. Um, yep, just a bunch of fake plats. I'm gonna figure out all the wiring. Um, I got the UV over here. I don't like it there, but I don't have too many options. But this is the final from what it looks like from the beginning of the video, the beginning of the video to now. Sorry, I can't even talk properly, but let me know what you guys think. At the fish store, this guy, this guy, the black and white one, the guy dropped him from probably six feet right onto the concrete. So I still took him. I got a discount for him. He's doing great. The other two guys are pretty cool as well. A variety, different colors. Yes, yeah, they're koi. I'm gonna have other different fish in here. But let me know how you guys look, and we will do a part two.